my my oculus came it may have taken like a week and a half to get from the next state over in australia to here but hey at least it's here thanks for your slow service australia post anyway the oculus rift s So for those of you that don't know, I'm upgrading from the Lenovo Explorer, uh, which will probably go in my simulator room now. And the Oculus Rift S will take its place here in my studio slash gaming setup thing I got going on here. So anyway, what do we got here? Uh, we have an Oculus Rift S, PC required. It's not like the Quest where it's wireless. Hey, what do we got here? We got high performance PC gaming, superior graphics, precision tracking, and all the rest is in. Yeah. And that's about it. Let us see what is in the box. Why did I get an accent? I don't know. How do I open the box? <laughs> hey. Let's, let's open this up. What do we got here? Our controllers. Pew, 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 pew. Got some uh, trigger fingers there. Right, I got them in the wrong hand. And so we got some trigger fingers there, there, little joysticky things there, and A and B buttons. We got what looks to be a menu button there as well. And that looks to be it. The battery compartment is in there. By the look of it, it takes one AA battery. We have the headset huh? with little peeping Tom cameras all over it. Two at the front, one at each side, and one at the top. On the Lenovo, we only got two uh, at the front. So with the Oculus, we should get a bit better tracking out of this. Let me whack that down for a second, because that's not all. We also have a, uh, a box inside of a box. Wow. Ah, yes, our display port to mini display port just in case your laptop which it probably won't now, not that many people are probably running it on a laptop because unlike the older vr headsets this doesn't have a hdmi cable this has a full-sized display port cable and a USB that you got to plug into your computer or laptop. So laptops generally don't have those. So that's why they include this. What else is in here? Set up your Rift S. Install the Oculus app on your PC. You'll need the app to set up your device and create an account. Headset, controllers, comfort, fit, headset care. Similar thing, different language. All right, want to see that? Probably not. Uh, we have what looks to be an instruction man. No? Oh, we have like a novel here on uh, safety and warranty. To be honest, it doesn't give me a great deal of confidence in this headset if your safety and warranty information booklet is this big. To set up the Rift S, you get oculus.com slash setup. Ooh, nearly wrecked a controller already. That would be proper Jason Storm style. What's this button? There's a button here. What's the button do? What's that button do? Well, what did, what just happened? Ooh, I see, I see. I didn't know this. Okay, so this button, Look at that. 
moves the headset in and out. Huh. We've got a auxiliary a 3.5 jack here, so we can plug our headphones into it. Um, it does come with speakers here, built into the headset. I'll test those out, but I'll probably end up wearing headphones, I would say. Let's trial fit this. I want to see what it... I have such a big head for my big brain. All right. Oh, maybe I don't. Maybe I have small brain. Okay. I think this is more comfortable than the, the Lenovo. And the Lenovo is pretty comfortable. Oh my, this is bright out here. Wow, feels like I've been in hibernation for six months. Really, this does block out the light, which is good. Um, with the Lenovo, I did have um, a little bit of light leakage on the sides. Um, what I'm saying with the Lenovo, it's like, did you? Hello there, bye bye. Hello, bye bye. I like that. Where am I in the room? It's just quick, simple, easy. Since this was de designed with Lenovo, you would think Lenovo would probably say, hey, do the flippy, do the flippy flip. But no, no flippy here. They don't want to be with the dolphins. They're, they're not, no flippers. Let's, let's plug it in. Okay, so I've set up my Oculus account. I've updated all the firmware and all that. Now it wants me to continue the setup in VR. So that is what I'm going to do. What just happened? I don't have any vision. Why don't I have any vision? I think I might have a problem. I don't have much of a vision. I can just see a screen flicking on and off. Sometimes it's on, sometimes it's off. It's just... Alright, so I just finished up uh, with the Oculus Rift S for a little bit. Um, I don't know, it seems like it's playing up a little bit. Sometimes the, the headset is working. Sometimes it isn't. Um, vision tends to be going on and off. I have uh, green and red, kind of like rain, just dots everywhere, all around the headset vision. Um, so either one, there's an issue with this headset, which I will confirm by putting it on my other computer. Um, I do have a question mark over the graphics card in this computer. I have had a few issues with this graphics card um, and some of the display ports. I just want to confirm it's not the display port before I say this headset is faulty. So it's actually probably about a week later now and I went out and bought this Gigabyte GTX 1660 Super. Got to get the Super. I installed that into this computer, hooked up the Rift S once again and this time we got cooking. I'm not going to go into a full Rift S review in this video, um, but I'm just going to give you my initial impressions of uh, going from the Lenovo Explorer to the Rift S um, and the things I see straight away. My first initial impressions of the Rift S are the, the sweet spot in the lenses are a bit bigger. 
unlike the Lenovo Explorer where you really had to get the headset centered right otherwise it would look a little bit blurry with the Rift S there's much more of a sweet spot I don't think the the screen door effect is as noticeable on the Rift S compared to the Lenovo Explorer not that the Lenovo Explorer was bad but definitely more noticeable than what it is on the Rift S for those of you that don't know what the screen door effect is that's uh, seeing every little pixel and kind of like seeing the little gaps in between them and stuff like that the uh, controllers feel better in your hands on the Rift S I think tracking is a little bit better on the Rift S I can have them completely down by my side and looking up and it's still fully tracked down there still so far I've played around for a few hours in VR the batteries are still what looks to be full on the, the indicator so these batteries aren't dying out like the Windows Mixed Reality ones do the Rift S has its own inbuilt speakers there they sound pretty good for the size of them so if you didn't want to wear headphones especially if you're in a hot climate like Australia like what I am and you don't want to have to have headphones on as well making you even more hot and sweaty or another thing while well, you're playing an active game to fall off you know these inbuilt headphones are actually pretty good and I think it's got a inbuilt microphone as well the thing that has kind of been annoying about it so far the graphics card I did have in this computer an RX 580 8GB it didn't come up with your PC is under minimum requirements which it wasn't and yet I upgrade to a Gigabyte 1660 Super 6GB which is well above minimum specs and Oculus keeps coming up with your PC is under minimum requirements it's very annoying it isn't and a quick search all through the forums and everything and a lot of people have the same problem any type of vaguely new graphics card or anything like that it keeps coming up with oh PC is under minimum requirements even though it's well above minimum requirements so uh, that's a bit annoying please fix that oculus after being in VR for a little while today I've found that when I'm not in VR it's taking me a little while to just reorientate myself a bit <laughs> and I think that has to do with 80 Hertz instead of 90 Hertz my body will probably get used to it but maybe more of that in the review so keep subscribed for that and subscribe if you're not already hit the like button if you liked it and I will see you in the next video